What's up, everybody? Flamex of the day here, playing more Zelda 2. Let's get right back into it. Um, I might have found something in the menu giving me hot swordplay tips. And, uh, I'm here for it. I should have learned from that skeleton. But alas, I did not. to get back into things. Hopefully not too long. A little bit long, maybe. Great start. We're gonna get the hammer. That's priority one. I don't know what to do about that multiple boomerang situation. It doesn't seem right. Try, devil. Not today, Satan. Do I bring my phone in here? I'm gonna need my phone if I'm gonna use the walkthrough. And I am going to use the walkthrough. Okay, they just spawn automatically, so... I'm gonna grab my phone real quick. So an interesting ha thing happened there. I couldn't decide whether to use the word quick or fast, so I said quifac, I believe, is, is the phrase I used. So we're, we're off to a great start here in Let's Play Land. to be smaller. I know Bagu. Zelda 2 hammer walkthrough. Let's see if we can find a separate... Yeah, we can't. Here's a separate one, yeah. Oh, shoot. Hey, this is gonna mimic uh, Zelda 1 map. It's not exact, but that's a cool detail. Regardless, we don't need to get there yet. I 
We must travel right, right, right. Don't use the elevator. There we go. I've murdered you. Those guys are good practice for the Dark Nuts, it's just they have no shield, so they go by a lot faster. But they have the same... basic setup, it seems like. Right. somehow. the other way. You fooled me. Now oh, I should have gotten him there. Don't use the elevator. F these guys. That actually went fairly well. axes that it throws at you. How do you do that? I guess if I use jump spell, I can do that. Once you reach a thousand points, your strength level will increase, making it easier to complete Death Mountain. So should I try to grind so I level up? Okay, Link tried to sabotage himself there. It didn't work. I saved the day. But he just stopped moving. Oh, F this one. This is shorter than the Saria Bridge, though. Oh, ah, oh, they do multiple hits. I thought they only shot once, and then they just tried to bite you. Gotta get a moving start in order to uh, do that. In order to get a better jump. buddy. Wish the shield, but that's fine. We'll live with that. That was sloppy. can't jump past him. Shoot! That was sloppy. Dang it. 
Dad, burn it. guys. Hate them a lot. Not my big favorite. Should I just try to grind it out now? can't use life anymore, so that's... Wish I had armored up earlier. Oh well. Okay, let's see if it has a pro tip for me here. So yeah, this part is similar to the layout of Zelda 1, which is cool. You have the graveyard on the middle left, forest on the bottom, beach on the right. That's, that's pretty cool. An open cave is available on the right. Right off the bat, you'll be greeted by Red Daira reach an elevator, there's nothing beyond it except enemies, so head down to the floor below. And I'm going to be using a lot of shields here. Wait, why did I do that? I meant to use jump. Defeated that devil, Satan. You can jump over them, it's just very difficult. do, I'm going to see if I can grind it out here. Oh no, F it. F the sand levels. There's no hope there. Alright, I might cut a little bit here, but I'm going to try to grind it out. Those guys give 10? That's pretty good, considering they go down in one hit. No 
There's only two. That's not worth it. should have shielded before I got that potion. XP do these guys do? Three. Definitely not worth it. Three. At least they only do chip damage. Dad, burn it. I hate how they just like swim off into the, into the nothingness. Oh. Oh. Well, 
lot of these big boys. Heal up and get back out there. Is this a graveyard that I'm jumping over? I don't get it. I'm not sure. talking to any of you people because of this man who tells me that the eyes of Ganon are everywhere. Ah, you do come back. That's good. It's not the most efficient way to get XP, but it'll work. They stay dead. They stay dead unless I visit town, apparently. Not the most fun way to LP, but it seemed necessary at this point. She's always at the ready for me, I appreciate that. snacks. I don't know where I put them. I'll find them later. I mean, there are a ton of places they could be, but whatever. dropping noise. Did I get something for that? I got extra XP? Did I get magic? What was that? So 
Sorry, raccoon pals. This is a necessary sacrifice. Hikari Let the voice of love take you higher Atumaru chikara de toki saya kawete 1999 is our summer Meguru yuki de Alright, that wasn't so... We're making progress. Yeah, those boomerang guys aren't so bad if you put your shields up. Also, if you're not in an enclosed cave space, you can dodge them a lot easier. Where's Raccoon? There he is. I was worried about you, buddy. Aside from the temple theme, the songs in this one aren't quite as catchy as the original. But I suppose that is a somewhat good thing, and they won't get you get stuck in your head and drive you insane, which... First game... Got, it was up there. It certainly uh, gave it its all. Seriously, where are my fruit snacks? I totally brought them up here. My pockets? No. Oh, they're over here by the laptop. Man, I just abandoned my recording setup just to find my snacks. But it's alright, because all I needed to do there was hold right. So it turned out alright, didn't it? When you were to drop a, a pea sack, that would be nice too. A sack of those pea points. Raccoon guys are a little unpredictable because they can jump however high they want. That's their that's the only trouble to give me. Alright, we're halfway there. It said it makes me stronger. Does that mean my attacks are stronger or my health will just go down a lot slower? Honestly, I'll be fine with either. I kinda prefer the health one. But I, I'll I'll gladly take either. Oh, 
that shield just blocks it at face value, or face level. I don't know why I said face value, that's not what that phrase means. Alright, we're making progress. screen it just gives up. It's a handy trick. I'll try sumo wrestling stuff off of the screen. That's a good trick. Probably head into the caves now and rely on the enemies there to finish off the level, but I don't want to risk it. Because if, if Zelda 1 taught me anything, it's with these OG games, don't ever risk it. We're making good time though. If we get to 900, we'll just head straight to the caves. All those Octoroks are 10 each. That's pretty, that's pretty good. And we have all three lives. Like, we could die twice and still have as much XP as we currently do. But again, don't risk it. Let's do one more round without going back to the village. Dang it, I'm one of the big guys. I don't know how much that's gonna be. 50. That's that's pretty good. I'll take that for sure. Alright, we're we're making good time for sure. 